Tonight we're learning more about the woman police say murdered a Dalton store clerk. News Channel Line's Makaya Thurman turns our attention to the city of Detroit, Michigan, Sky Mim's hometown, where friends are still in shock about the charges against her. Makaya? Friends say they saw Sky Mims as the next big name to make it out of Detroit. Now she's making national headlines for all the wrong reasons. I was shocked and very unhappy when I found out about her present demise. That's the reaction friends and co-workers of Sky Mims had as they heard of her recent arrest for a murder in Dalton. DJ 8 Mile has worked with the aspiring musician and model from Detroit. He was helping her with promotion and says Mims was in Atlanta for her birthday last week. Very, very good artist. Now the 21-year-old's voice is silenced while she sits behind bars accused in the up-close brutal murder of gas station clerk Dickie Chadhari. Investigators found the 37-year-old Cancun store clerk late Sunday night in the storage room surrounded by a pool of blood. They say Mims stabbed Chadhari, stole a handful of lottery tickets and cash, then went on the run, leaving Chadhari for dead. A tip about where she was hiding came in after surveillance and social Social media pictures of her were released. Nearly 48 hours later, Mims was arrested at a friend's home near Atlanta. A lot of people were going to miss out on her talent because she was going to go national. That was one of the reasons why I was promoting her. For now, the only people seeing Mims are guards at the Whitfield County Jail. She's being held in isolation while deputies monitor her behavior. Back home in Detroit, questions remain. Friends are confused about the model's behavior, and so are authorities, who are still trying to figure out why someone who seemed to have so much going for them would commit murder. Mims was scheduled for her bond hearing, but just minutes ago, District Attorney Burt Poston tells us that it's been canceled. We did some digging to find out if Mims had a police record in Detroit. ABC affiliate WXYZ reports that her record appears to be spotless in the city. Kim? Okay, thank you very much.